the most excruciatingly difficult experiences as a parent is to watch your child follow somebody, another kid who is horrible, who is mean. And then, you know, sometimes they'll be really mean to your kid and then your child will say like, oh, I'm so upset, I'm so upset, and they'll be really upset and they'll come home and tell you and then you've talked about it and you think your child has gotten to a place where they understand they should stop following this child around and then the next day you see them playing. The next time, you know, next day you come and pick them up at carpool and there's that kid next to your kid and your kid is still mimicking or following the child around. It drives you crazy as a parent and it's totally normal that you would feel this way. So here's the problem. It's a long-term process. There is nothing I'm gonna be able to say to you in one second where your child stops following people around. But this is a very important issue because your child follows around a girl at 12 is the same set of lack of boundaries that are going to impact her when she starts dating people. So it's really important that we sit down with your daughter and you say, okay, what are the top three things that you have to have in a friendship? And your child will probably say loyalty, trust, and be myself, because pretty much all kids say that. And then you say, okay, I want you to write down the top three things that come to your mind about the person that you are always in conflict with, that you are in this relationship with. You can't say follow, because then she'll get mad at you. And then you say, okay, compare and contrast these, these lists. Are you getting in this friendship with what you say you have to have? And if you're not getting that, why are you in the friendship? Now, you're not gonna get your child to agree with you 100% about this at that moment. All you wanna do is sit there and have that child think about that list and let them be uncomfortable because you are on a long-term process of establishing the, your child's boundaries. Not your boundaries, your child's boundaries. And if you, they can see what they stand for and they're not getting it, then what you're hoping for is that through the process they get more and more and more uncomfortable through the relationship and then through that they start developing the boundaries where they can finally say, I will not be in these kinds of relationships anymore.